Welcome to the Illuminate Live User Guide. Illuminate Live is a tool available through QUT that allows students to participate in live synchronous learning and collaboration. Unit coordinators can schedule and deliver Illuminate sessions and their recordings through QUT Blackboard. Illuminate Live Technical Requirements Illuminate Live uses JavaScript to function. To check that your computer is compatible with the Illuminate software, go to Illuminate Live's support page and complete your setup. Your computer should have the pop-up blocker turned off or Illuminate Live website allowed. If you require further assistance with using Illuminate Live, support is also available via the IT Help Desk. Their contact details are available on the IT Help Desk website. You can also contact your unit coordinator for further guidance. How can I access Illuminate Live? To access the Illuminate Live website, you need to go through the QUT Blackboard site. Once you are at the Blackboard homepage, select the appropriate Blackboard unit. To join an Illuminate Live session, you will need to access the collaboration area within the Blackboard unit. From here, you can click on the link Illuminate Live. Current links to Illuminate Live sessions will be displayed in a table with session name, moderator, start date and end date. Click on the appropriate Illuminate session name. If the date and time displayed in the start date matches the current date and time, the session will be launched in your web browser and a message box will be displayed asking you to open the meeting file. When the session login screen appears for Illuminate Live or Blackboard Collaborate, enter your name in the text box and click on the login button. If you have Java loaded onto your computer, the Java Web Start screen will appear, launching Illuminate Live. You will be asked if you want to run the Illuminate Live application. Click on the Run button. The Illuminate Live version 10 screen will appear. Finally, upon entering the Illuminate Live session, you will be asked to agree to the session participation agreement. Click on the link to read the agreement and then click I agree. Once the session is launched, you will be asked to choose your connection speed. Access to Illuminate Live sessions can also be achieved through links on your content pages in Blackboard units. If an optional email was sent out to participants by the unit coordinator, invited participants can access the session via the received link. Accessing Illuminate Live Recorded Sessions If a session has been recorded, go to the Collaboration link in the Blackboard unit. Click on Illuminate Live. To search for a recording, you must first choose Recorded Sessions from the drop-down box. Next, use the calendar to navigate to the required session. To view a wider range of dates, simply click Today or This Week or This Month beneath the calendar. Using Illuminate Live For information about how to participate in an Illuminate Live session, please see the accompanying video clip. All right, welcome to Illuminate Live. This is a web conferencing tool that more and more instructors and students at San Jose School of Library and Information Science program are using in the classroom. It's a great tool. It's a great way to get to know the subject matter better as well as the people involved in your classes. First off, I'll introduce the participant window up here. Now, you'll get to see a list of everyone who's there. They should write their first name and their last name. You can do things. You, you, you want to be aware of this participant window because you're going to see if people raise their hand by clicking on this button right here. It does it in order of the, the people that have questions or things to say. Wh once your question has been answered, click on it again so that we understand that the answer provided to you was satisfactory. 
You can also provide feedback with a smiley face or a confused face, applause, or thumbs down. And now these icons here, these emoticons, will flash for about 7 to 10 seconds. Something else that you can do is let people know if you have stepped away from the class. You click on the store and your name changes. Once you return, say from answering the telephone or feeding the dog, click on that door again and everyone knows that you are back. There is also an ability to chat with people, just like a regular chat, chat room. You just go ahead and start typing, click send, and voila, whatever you've written shows up. Uh, so, sometimes a better way of communicating though is actually being able to hear someone's voice. There is a microphone and once you click on it, you'll see that, hey, people can hear you. There's, there should be bands of green and yellow. If it's in the red, you need to adjust your microphone level so that you don't blast people out of the room. You will, and, and once you're done talking, click on the microphone again so that they don't hear you breathing or coughing, muttering to yourself or, <laughs> or anything else. You can also adjust the speaker level so that you don't get blasted out of, out of the room, nor do you have to strain to hear what someone is saying. There's also the whiteboard over here, and instructors normally use this area to, to provide all the information that they have for you. They can upload PowerPoints and use that to, to help you. Um, there are also different tools that everyone can use. There's an arrow where you can select things so that you can move them around or simply delete them. There's an eraser where, where you can do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and erase my objects. There's also some text features, and, and these two are slightly different, but I won't go into how they're different right now. Now notice that if you select the text tool and some of the other tools, down at the bottom of your screen, you get different options. You can select the color of your text. You can change it around. You can change what kind of, what, how it's going to look. Ooh, let's see, you can change the size of the font as well as if you want it in bold, italicized, or underlined. Ooh kind of hard to see. Bold, italicized, or underlined. Alright, so let's go back up here. You can do things like draw, and keep in mind that you are also going to have different options available to you, where you can change the color of, of the object that you draw. You can change the size of the line. Oh, let me use the arrow to select what I want changed. There we go. There is also a feature where where you can um, use a pointer. This thing that, that looks like a firecracker here. Um, it, it will... You, you also have different options where you can choose your pointer to look like this. You can click and drag so everyone can see um, see, see your cursor move around the screen. You can use some Mickey Mouse hands, arrows, X's, there's even a smiley face on a star. Those are some of the, th those are the, the basic functions you'll be using in, in the whiteboard. I also want to show you, let me move the area, you can, sometimes polls are taken where you can vote on different matters or give your input you know, which would you prefer, option A, B, C, or D? It's really up to the instructor or the moderator what options are given to you. And you can go ahead and vote right here. You can change your vote until the instructor has frozen everything. You can also do things like share a file. You can share Excel files, Word files, something that you think the rest of your class or your, or your group mates um, might find valuable. You can also do things like share your desktop. Let me bring this screen over here so you can see what I mean. You can share your entire desktop or just specific applications, whatever you want, um, what, whatever you want to show people. 
So other than that, I hope that you feel a little bit more comfortable using Illuminate. There is also a more in-depth, interactive um, tra training session that the school offers. And it's done by students, so they're very understanding, very patient, and very helpful. So I encourage that I, I encourage you to sign up for those training sessions. We'll have fun studying and have fun in Illuminate.